This is a full body functional strength training workout to help you get stronger in here so you can be stronger out there in life where it really counts. The only thing you're gonna need for today's workout will be your moderately heavy dumbbells. This is also a no repeat workout, which means this 30 minutes is gonna fly by and we are gonna give it everything we've got. So it's time, let's get strong, let's start our warm up, and let's do this. We're gonna start this warm up with a squat to a quad pull. So we're gonna take it down into a squat as we come up grab on, feel that stretch, then take that squat back down. Working through this nice and slow, again, just getting everything warmed up. And then other side. Good, working our balance as well. You know, with functional workouts, we've always got some, some balance aspect to it, so why not warm up with it? Couple more here, and then we're gonna switch it to a staggered stance, good morning. Good, let's do one more, squat it down. Feel that nice stretch. And then take one leg forward with the staggered stance. Good morning, you've got one leg out, hands on your hips, slight bend in the knee. We're gonna drive the hips back, keeping that back flat, bringing that chest down. And then squeeze back up. Good, and down. Taking the time through this set here, not rushing these, but feeling that stretch starting to wake those muscles up. We're just gonna switch sides here. We'll do three more, here's three. Good, keep that good posture, two. Last one and then we'll switch sides, take it down and up. Other side, now opposite leg comes forward, same form. Here we go, take it down and up. I love no repeat workouts and the reason being is because I feel like you can give everything to that one set because you know you only have one shot. So that, I want you to keep that as your focus today. Remember throughout this workout, one shot for this set. Give it everything, make it count. We've got 30 minutes together today. Works timer is gonna be on for 45. Rest is gonna be on for 20 and we've got 24 exercises. A very simple structure. And we're lifting moderately heavy, so challenge yourself with that weight as well. Last one, and then we're gonna go into a lateral lunge. Good, and up, so take those legs out wide. We're gonna take it to one side, and then the other. With this lateral lunge, don't take it as deep when you first start, but then as you start to feel things warm up, you can take it a little bit deeper. Good. Exhale, don't forget to breathe. We're gonna finish up with arm circles. We'll do two more here. Here's two and a one. Big arm circles back now. Getting that upper body warm and ready. First exercise we've got, we're gonna start out with a goblet squat. Just gonna need one dumbbell for that. Let's do three more and then we'll get our weight ready and we'll get ready to go. Last one, awesome. So grab your weight for goblet squat. Remember that dumbbell's gonna come right at the front of your chest. Challenge yourself with the weight here. I can go heavier. <laughs> Y'all, make the decision. <laughs> go heavy. <laughs> Shoulders roll down and back. We're gonna go here in three, two, and one goblet squat. Sometimes it, there's, there are certain days, this just happens. Sometimes you feel like you can lift heavier than other days. It's just our power body flows. Keeping that chest up. Today was one of those days. I was like, wait a second. This is a no repeat. Let's go for it. You'll see me sometimes, even during the middle of a set, I will be like, hold on. I do not want to cheat myself out of these last 30 seconds or whatever it might be. So I will switch my weight up. Always do that if you feel like you can go heavier. No need to wait to finish out the set. Almost there. Here we are, here's three, two, and one. We're gonna switch it up. Sumo squat to pass and press. So we're gonna keep one dumbbell. Legs out for the sumo squat. This is gonna be a nice power move. Again, we're working functional today. So these are things that we would do in our everyday life. Shoulders roll down and back. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, squat it down, press it up, pass it over. Ooh. Ooh. 
Now I shouldn't, we do similar movement patterns is the thing I should say. When I say we do these things in everyday life, but we do moves all the time where we squat. We have to press something up over our head. Oh, good. Whew. Almost there. Whew. We're gonna bring it to the mat for this next round. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. We are doing a hips up pullover. So one or two dumbbells for your pullover. Bring it to the mat. Whew. Challenging that core and the glutes with this position. Whew. So lifting those hips up, holding onto your dumbbell. We're gonna drop it back in three, two, and one. Here we go. Drop it back and pull up. Keep those hips up, squeeze the glutes. Down, good. Ooh. Now with those hips lifted, make sure your back is still straight. So you don't want to over arch driving your hips up so high that it causes your back to round. Ooh. Weight stays in the heels. Knees are in line with toes. Dropping the weight and then pulling it when it's about perpendicular to the floor. Good, almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, set the weight down. Now we are going to a narrow push-up or a tricep push-up, so we won't need any dumbbell. Bringing it over. Hands nice and close as you push. As you're doing your push-up, think about squeezing your arms around your body. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, as you lower down, keep the weight in the heels of your hands. Press that floor away. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Keep that body strong and straight. This works the chest, but it also really targets the triceps with this narrow hand position. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. We're going into a reverse grip chest press. So quickly grab your dumbbells for that. You might wanna go down a little bit in weight for what you usually do with a normal chest press. This is gonna target your pectorals in a slightly different way. Always good to mix it up. Here we go in three, two, and one. So this reverse grip. Arms staying fairly close to your body. Elbows come out at a slight angle. You don't want your elbows super wide here. I can still feel my upper arm sliding right down near my rib cage. And I'm keeping, I'm trying to keep a consistent range of motion by tapping my arms on the ground and then pressing all the way back up. So this little tap at the ground just helps me stay consistent. So if you need some help with that lower down, just tap, come right back up. Here we are, three, two, and one, awesome, bringing it up. We're hitting that lower body now. We're gonna do a forward lunge to a reverse lunge. Whew. Now you'll see a modification on screen if lunges bother your knees, shoulders rolled down and back. We're gonna stay on one side, then that next set will switch. Here we go. So take it back, then we're gonna step it forward. Keeping that chest up. Whew. Nice job. Halfway. Whew. Now, if you're doing that modification, think about as you lift that leg forward, squeeze the quad. As you lift that leg back, squeeze the glute. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. We're just gonna switch sides. So opposite 
leg will come forward and back. Keeping that good form with the upper body, shoulders roll down and back, chest is up and open. Breathing, here we go in three, two, and one. I don't wanna accidentally step on Nacho if he moves. He seems like he is enjoying his rest right now though. Told you we got some balance work in here today. You may feel this on these lunges, especially with the forward right into a back step. Challenging that balance, working those stabilizers. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. We now have a narrow Romanian deadlift. So a narrow stance, we're gonna bring those feet nice and close together, keeping those dumbbells close to the body. One or two dumbbells, whatever you feel comfortable with, shoulders roll down and back, get that narrow stance, and here we go, 45 on. Take it down, good, and squeeze. Keep those legs nice and tight. Still have a slight bend in your knees with this. We don't wanna lock the knees out, but do think about keeping your back flat, driving those hips to the wall behind you. Less than 10, keep it up. Whew. Here it is, three, two, and one. Awesome, one dumbbell now. I'm actually gonna go down probably a little bit. One dumbbell for a kickstand Romanian deadlift into a row. So we're gonna use that leg in the back for just a little bit of stabilization. Keep all the focus on that forward leg. When we hit that bottom point, we're gonna row and then come back up. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Bring it down, hit the bottom. Row and squeeze. And back up. Good, take it down. Nope, I could go heavier. <laughs> Something about today. Feeling good on this one. You will notice, you'll hit that little spot where you do notice that you are stronger. And sometimes we have it set in our mind, like, oh, I can only do this. So that's why I will challenge you. I'll say, go up and wait. Just see what you're capable of, because if you don't try, you'll never know. And especially with no repeats, push yourself here. Because again, 45 seconds, and that is it. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. We're just gonna switch sides. So other side, other leg comes forward. Dumbbell in the opposite hand. Shoulders roll down and back, getting ready to go. Keep that back flat as we lower, get that good posture, slight bend in this forward leg. And here we go, we're gonna take it down. And row it up, squeeze, shoulder blade around spine. And back up, nice. Get that little squeeze, hold at the top for just a second with this row, and then down. Good, keep your hips square. For this forward leg, make sure the weight is staying in your heel, so you don't wanna rock forward onto your toe. That's gonna take all that tension there out of that hamstring. That's where we wanna keep that contraction, in the hamstring, keep the weight on the heel. Row, squeeze, down. Whew. We got time, one more, let's do it. Good, here's three, two, and one, awesome. Next, we're going into a close grip row. Sometimes I like to call it a landmine row because I like to use just one dumbbell. You can use two as long as you glue them together. Don't let them come apart. But if you are using one, you're gonna wrap those fingers around, getting into that bent over row position. We go here in three, two, and one, here we go. And squeeze, hold it at the top for a second. Get that contraction, squeeze, down, good. With this one, if you have one dumbbell, if you have that one heavy dumbbell, you don't have to try to over grip this dumbbell. Just using your fingers here 
to hook around that bar and that's what's gonna hold that dumbbell up. Sometimes when we start to over grip, that's where we feel pain in our hands, in our wrists. So make sure those wrists are staying straight and you're not over gripping. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, one. Awesome. Going into what I think is one of the toughest ways to work shoulders, and that is a V-sit Arnold press. So gonna bring it down. Now, if you feel you wanna do this standing, you can definitely do this standing as well. But out in the V-sit, we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Arnold press up, wrist stay straight. Now when we are in this V-sit, we have lost any help from the lower body. Our lower body still does act as stabilization when we're doing standing exercises. We may even get a little bit of a boost if we're bending our knees at all to help us get that weight up. But when we're seated, it takes everything out, all the focus on the shoulders. You're also gonna feel this in the core because now the core is helping take over with this stabilization. So that's why I find this one so challenging, but so good for us. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Moving on to a long lever glute bridge. One or two dumbbells right up on those hips. We're gonna roll it back. Legs are gonna be out. This is gonna be very challenging for the hamstrings. So bring it back. Legs out, nice and long, and we lift. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, and then lower, and up, good. So you'll see you won't get quite as high off the ground because those legs are out longer. So we don't have quite as big of a range of motion, but the burn is definitely still there. So just make sure you're reaching all the way up to the top here, squeeze the glutes, feel those the back of the legs in that lift, Nice. Whew. Remember what I said at the beginning of this workout, stronger here so you can be stronger out there. It is tough, but you've got it. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Moving on now to a narrow glute bridge. So just stay right here. Bring your legs in, pin your legs together. Bring, walk the heels in closer to your bum now so a more uh, normal, Neutral stance for the glute bridge, but legs are pinned together. So narrow stance, here we go. We lift, push through the heels, squeeze, and down. Don't let those legs come apart. Pin them together, squeeze, feel those inner thighs right now as you squeeze, pushing up towards the top, and then down. Ooh. Working lots of different variations today. Again, helping with that functional side of things. Good, Ooh, this one is getting tough, oh my word. Legs are on fire and we are not done with the legs yet. Bring it up, good, here's three, two, and one, awesome. Now we are gonna bring it to stand, still working that lower body, but this time we're gonna add some upper body movement as well. We're gonna go into a sumo squat with a Close grip hammer curl. So again, I'm gonna use one dumbbell. You can use two, but pin them together. Take the legs out, squat down here. Squat down, bicep curl up, and then push up. So keep this narrow hammer position, and then down, good, and up. Hold it low, come on, squeeze. Don't wait too long in this full extended position. Squat right back down, hold it. Get that curl. Arms stay nice and close to your body. Right back down, come on. Almost there. Not gonna be done with the biceps after this one. Still gonna be working those. Squeeze. Oh, time for one more. Good, here's three, two, and one, awesome. Now we're gonna need two dumbbells. We're gonna go into a kneeling position, kneeling bicep curl. So grab your dumbbells for that. Bring it to that kneeling position. Knees about shoulder width or even a little bit wider for this. We're gonna bring it up, 
shoulders rolled down and back. And here we go. Just the bicep curls in this kneeling position. Ooh, so similar to that Arnold press and V-sit, we've taken out the lower leg here. That helps act as stabilization. You've got to squeeze the glutes. You've got to squeeze the legs. That's taking over now to help stabilize you, but it's all biceps. We can't cheat ourselves in this one. There's no swinging. We've got to hold it tight. Good, almost there. Last three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring it up. Now you can do use dumbbells if you want. However, if you need some extra balance for this calf raise, you can just hold on to a wall. We're gonna do a toes turned out. So legs are gonna be a little bit wider. Toes are out. Shoulders rolled down and back. You can bring your dumbbells up on the shoulders or even down by your side, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're gonna lift and lower. Here we go. Lift it up, squeeze, and down. Good. Drive up on those toes and then back down. Keep that good posture. Make sure you're not letting your bum stick out. So tuck the hips, keep the chest up. This is the one and only time that I get to feel like a ballerina. <laughs> it's so graceful, which is so not me. So I love it. Uh. Good, and down. Ooh, almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Now we are moving on to a dumbbell swing or a kettlebell swing. So if you have a kettlebell nearby and you want to grab it, grab it. If not, hold on to the dumbbell at the end of your dumbbell. Legs out. We're going to get ready to swing here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now remember, kettlebell swing is not a squat. We're not focused on the squat down. Knees bend slightly, but you drive those hips back and then you power up. So we're building power right now. So focus on that power. Think about squeezing, driving those hips forward. Back is flat, core is engaged. Arms swinging just about parallel to the floor. You don't need to take the dumbbell all the way up. Almost there. We've got one more upper body exercise after this. Then we're gonna focus on all abs. We've got three, two, and one. Carefully let that weight swing, and then you can set it down. Oh, all right, steering wheel is next. One dumbbell for this. All about the front delt. We're gonna take the dumbbell up parallel. We're gonna steer our car. It's gonna burn. And we're gonna bring it down in three, two, and one. Here we go, bring it up parallel. Steer the car and down. This little rotation keeps that muscle under tension a little bit longer, helps you stable, or you have to stabilize the weight. Again, challenging. Good. As you lift the weight up, make sure shoulders are staying down. So you don't want to bring the shoulders up when you bring the weight up. Relax the upper body. Good. Last one. This is three, two, and one. <laughs> Yay. No weights. All down on the ground now for our core and ab work. We're gonna bring it down into plank walks. This is an option you can do on your knees or your toes, but just think about keeping that core nice and tight. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now, if you lead down with your right arm and lead back up with your right arm on that next rep, lead down with left and up with left. So try not to lead up and down on that same arm every time. Let the other turn have a side. Oh, that's gonna help prevent any muscular imbalances that we may build while doing this. So again, just try to keep it as even as possible while squeezing the legs and the glutes. Remember that lower body takes a huge part in a solid plank. Almost there. Three, 
three, two, and one. Oh, amazing. We're gonna go into a side plank now. Down on the forearm, we're gonna extend the arm and leg, and then we're gonna tuck it back in. Whew. So breathing, you'll see a modification where that bottom leg is down. You can follow that anytime. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. So we extend, we tuck. So make that body nice and long, and then squeeze. Think about bringing hip to rib cage, really working those obliques. Good. This is where I want you to remember, this is a no repeat. So when it's getting tough, come on, work through it. We've got it. We're just about 15 out. Keep it strong. You're gonna get a nice break. We're gonna switch it to the other side. Again, making things even. Keep those hips up. Oh, count it down with me. Three, two, and one. Nice. Carefully bring it down. Switching over now to the other side. Whew. 10 seconds and we go. Again, option to keep that bottom knee down. Going here in three, two, and one. Bring it up and extend and tuck. Good. Really reach, make yourself nice and long and then tuck, squeeze it in. Exhale with your tuck. So right here, blow all that air out, and then back, good. Oh, hello. Two exercises remain after this. I'm telling you, no repeats, they fly by. But you still can tell by the end, you're like, yep, I worked it all. I know I got it. Almost there. No more planks after this, just FYI. So that should make you smile, right? Here's three, two, and one, good, oh. all right. Legs are gonna be out at a slight V. We're gonna do a full sit up on this one. Modification, legs are gonna be bent and you're just gonna do a regular sit up. Ooh. Breathing, five seconds out. Good, here's three, two, and one. So sit it all the way up and then down, control yourself down, all the way up. And down. Exhale as you come up. Good, keeping that good posture as you sit up. I like to keep my eyes, to help me with my posture, I like to keep my eyes looking where the ceiling meets the wall right in front of me. That helps me just keep my chest up and open. If I'm looking straight in front of me, my shoulders start to round. Almost there. Good, this is it. Three, two, and one. Awesome, bringing it down, finishing out with heel taps. We're gonna tap right and left. Make sure those heels are not too close to your bum. Walk them out, make it an uncomfortable reach here. So really feel that the obliques working in this one. We're getting those shoulder blades up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, reach for the heels. Exhale, as you do that side crunch. And remember, this is it. Good, tap it out. Don't forget to breathe. We are 10 out. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice job, give those legs a little hug. You are amazing. That was a tough 30 minute full body workout that we just completed. You are the bomb. Do not forget, complete your training with a full body stretch. It is going to feel so good. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you very soon.